Good morning, friends. Every once in a while, I like to just do a little what's on my mind today video, and uh, it's morning. And I'm just doing this with the back camera on my iPad, so the resolution isn't going to be up to the quality, nor the color, uh, up to the quality of my camera when I'm doing things with my camera. But I just wanted to do a short video this morning and tell you what's on my mind today. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Uh, as you know, we just returned uh, from five months in the United States in our motorhome. And uh, it's time for me to pay a number of my yearly bills at our home here in Ajijic, Mexico. Um, I check the exchange rate every morning on my phone. It's real easy. Uh, I use a um, program app on my phone for that. It's called xe.com. The letter X, the letter E, dot com. And you can get exchange rates for um, any currency in the world off of that. It's very handy. It's very quick. And every morning I just uh, punch that icon on the front of my phone and see what the exchange rate is. And it's always interesting, and it has a lot to do with uh, life out of the United States if your uh, retirement income comes from money in the United States. I'll make a video about that. Uh, I, I've been thinking about um, uh, a particular thing about that, but that's not what I want to talk about today. First of all, let me Real show numbers. you uh, where I'm sitting, because... Uh, this background is not pleasing to me as I'm looking at it uh, on the front of my iPad picture. I'm sitting here at my dining room table and um, oh, there's a Guadalajara reporter. It's a weekly English language newspaper that comes out here in Mexico. Uh, oh, you know, Look at that headline. Chapala traffic regulations go into effect next week. And what the article says is that they're working on uh, making sure there's less corruption and more obeying the traffic laws. Uh, Mexico's making a lot of progress in that regard. This is my um, computer room, sunroom. When it's uh, cold in November and December, this room heats up very nicely because the morning sun streams in here. That white thing is my uh, full-size Yamaha Grand electronic piano. The Guadalupe. Uh, my last video, you saw my uh, yard out there with the pool and the pelicans in the lake. Over there, uh, the stairway up to three bedrooms, two full baths upstairs. And that little door right there, that's a half bath. The big tall door over there goes into the other half of the house, which is our TV room, two more bathrooms, um, the laundry room, and my workshop. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go back down uh, over here and sit down and, oh, the kitchen. And turn the light on. That's the kitchen. And uh, the kitchen patio. Well, that's the screen you're seeing. In the mountains. I'll give you a full tour of my house someday soon and I'll do it with a camera that works better. So what's on my mind today? Uh, a couple of things. Today's exchange rate XE.com 19.3 Mexican pesos to one US dollar. So here are my yearly bills that I'm going to go and pay. Actually I 
went and paid them yesterday. So these were my notes. I'm just talking about it today. My yearly water bill, 2,040 pesos, calculates to 105 U.S. dollars for the year. My property taxes, and I have two properties, 5770 pesos, 298 dollars for the year. My cars, now I have three vehicles. I have a Dodge van, I have a BMW Roadster, and I have a, a Quattromoto, a Honda ATV. I also pay for a friend's car um, who used to live here and still it's still licensed here. Anyway, I pay it for her and then I send it to her and she pays me back. But for all four vehicles then, 88 U.S. dollars. License tags for four vehicles. And then down here is 3,500 pesos, and that's the insurance for one year on my BMW. Um, the van, um, uh, it's paid at a different time of the year. 181 U.S. dollars, one year's insurance on my BMW. So that came to 1,280 or 12,800 pesos, and I was doing that calculation to see how much pesos I needed to go and get out of the bank yesterday to go and pay those bills. And speaking of numbers, here's the other thing that's on my mind today. It is my morning routine to uh, watch the NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt on an app on my iPad in the mornings. And I do it that way because if you watch it at night, uh, it takes about a half an hour. If you watch it on the app, it takes about 20 minutes because you don't get the 10 minutes worth of commercials. But this morning, uh, there was a, 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 one of the segments was about a new drug um, that could replace statins in the United States. And the reason that it's on my mind is because I get a lot of comments and a lot of uh, traffic on my YouTube channel here uh, with people bashing Big Pharma in the United States. And uh, let's not say Jerry's bashing the United States because Jerry just returned from... <laughs> five months in his motorhome in the United States and I love the United States. Do not write me a comment that says I'm bashing the United States. Now, and another reason that it's on my mind is because of those videos of mine you may have seen me in the past where I'm talking about the inhaler that Lynn got in the United States in uh, Colorado that cost $400 and I went to the pharmacy here in Ajijic, Mexico and found exactly the same inhaler made in the same U.S. company for $35. Or my relative whose leg cream in Oklahoma cost $100 plus the 200 and some dollar uh, office visit to get the prescription and here in Mexico a tube four times as big over the counter without a prescription was 52 pesos which is about 200 dollars and fifty cents. Now, please also don't leave me a comment and tell me, oh yeah, the current administration in the United States is going to fix that. Get back to me after they have fixed that problem of drugs in the, and I'm talking about medications, not drugs. Get back to me when they've fixed it. Don't tell me what they're going to do. I may do a little bashing of big pharma, but um, I think they got it coming. But this isn't about bashing them. I just want to tell you what's on my mind. The newscast said that uh, this new drug, and it will be about a year before it's finally approved, uh, is something that will help with people who are taking statins in the United States and they have side effects. So, uh, here's some numbers. Now, 
The newscast said that one in four people in the United States are on statins. And um, that the cost of that new drug, when it was available, would be about $3,500 a year. So I decided to do some math, and here's the math. Now, I haven't verified that one in four people in the United States take statins, and I haven't verified that this new drug will cost $3,500 a year, but um, those are the numbers that I got from Lester Holt on NBC News. So I did some calculations. Uh, I understand that it takes a lot of money to develop a new drug and that um, the research and development costs are very, very expensive, that the process of a year's worth of bureaucracy getting a new drug um, pushed through the FDA system and approved for use in the United States can be uh, very, very costly. I understand that. And I would certainly not say something bad about a company that's trying to make lives better for um, their customers. But here's my calculation. Uh, one in four people in the United States, and I'm looking at my notes so that I remember the numbers right. One in four people in the United States is 87,500,000 people in the United States take statins. That's one-fourth of the approximate 350 million population of the United States. So 87,500 people take statins. That's what the news report said. Um, at $3,500 a year, $3,500 times 87,500,000 is $306 billion, two hundred and fifty million dollars per year is the potential gross income to drug company, to the drug company, for the use of that new drug. Now, my thought about that is that it's a lot of money and I don't know anything about research and development and the cost of getting a new drug to the market, but $306 billion? Of course, it's not all profit. Companies need to make profit. But do they need to make that much? And of course, not all 87,500,000 people who are on statins are going to be able to take advantage of that new drug that doesn't have the side effects, but I can see it coming. Commercials that say, oh, your statins are bad, you need to get on this new one. Uh, that's what's on my mind today. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.